Hi and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Haley. I am a sophomore management major at Clemson University and today I'm going to be sharing with you guys a little bit about how I think I got into Clemson University. So if you're interested in applying or want to know some things that you should maybe do to help your admissions package get accelerated higher on the list or possibly even become accepted into the university, continue watching. So first off, I am a in-state student, female minority student. Those are just really basic fundamental facts about me. Short disclaimer, I have no clue of what the final decisions were, what the reviewing of my application truly was, but I just wanted to share some things that I did that I feel like maybe helped my application become accepted. And I applied into the College of Business pre-business program. So if you are an intended business major, you will begin your freshman year as a pre-business student. For me, it is now going to be my sophomore year in just a few weeks, and I applied into the, the department of management and so that's how I'm now a management major with an emphasis in human resources with a minor in psychology which is what I am declaring as my graduating degree. Clemson is definitely more of a STEM heavy school so keep that in mind if you are applying to nursing those are some more competitive programs and Clemson even does a really good job denoting their programs that are more competitive and harder to get into so if you haven't applied to the university and you are a current high school senior make sure that you go ahead and hop on that as soon as possible it helps you as I shared last year in my how I got into all the colleges I applied video it helps you to get better housing priority I know it's a little wonky this year because of the whole pandemic going on but again this is just kind of what I experienced two years ago as a high school senior when I was applying to the university things that I went through or learned or found beneficial when I was applying to the university so sharing from that standpoint keep that in mind I'll leave it down below the other video because I go way more into detail about the application process and I have way more tips in depth about that in particular in that video that I'm not going to be sharing today but if you want more of a insider scoop on how you should apply when you should apply all those application related questions that's the video you want to check out it will be down below make sure that if you are applying to something that is more maybe stems heavy since the school is so known for stems I would definitely say applying to stems programs make sure that you are maybe taking more rigorous classes have a very high GPA high class standing a lot of community involvement and I'll share with you guys more of what my personal accolades and community involvement was later on in this video as well my particular major is competitive it's becoming even more competitive as the years go on we just had a new business school build. That's a little background of the college that I applied to. I took multiple AP classes. I would suggest taking dual enrollment, IB, AP, any of those types of courses or if you have the opportunity to just take honors courses because it does look better. It allows you to grow and stretch and it does help you with the transition to high school to college academic rigor because there is a difference. You're just going to naturally transition learning how to deal with the new dynamic and lifestyle of college. It's kind of the courses that I took. I was involved heavily within multiple clubs in my high school. DECA competed within that club. I was in a multiple leadership positions. I was the president of the club my senior year of high school. So I had many leadership roles within the club. I was very involved in that as well as Beta Club, National Honor Society, Key Club for a year. And then I also was a Girl Scout my freshman and sophomore years of high school. So I was very community service driven. I was involved in clubs that aligned with where I was applying to in college. So I did DECA because I knew I was interested in business marketing that whole gamut of opportunity so I took that club and joined that organization to get my toes wet in that particular industry and I think because I was a part of that that probably did help me especially applying into the school of business so if you're interested in STEM try to see if there's any like HOSA or healthcare related classes on top of that I was a 4.0 honors student so I graduated with honors I was very high in my class ranking all of that obviously plays a role I took the ACT twice I definitely did not do as well as they encourage you to do when you're applying to Clemson but that just kind of goes to show you if you really are really strong in one particular area either in the classroom or your community involvement or any of that that can definitely help so I would suggest that if you are applying to Clemson in particular but any university just really consider that don't beat yourself up if you might not have the ideal test score or the ideal GPA or class standing if you really are strong in two out of the three or even one out of the three 
three, you're really strong. Maybe you have a very high GPA, but maybe your class standing's not the best because you just have a lot of really competitive, rigorous students in your graduating class. Go ahead, give it a try. Submit that application. The worst they can do is deny you. It just means that it probably wasn't the place for you. Additional things that generally I did that I think also probably went a long way. I emailed the admissions counselor anytime I had any questions regarding the university. Stay in contact. If you truly have questions, ask those. Those are the people who are reading your application. It shows your interest, like I said before, and then also it keeps you top of mind, which I think helps because I got to personally meet my admissions counselor. She came to my school to multiple different college career fair days that we had my sophomore, junior, and senior year. And each time I kind of walked around, introduced myself. I know one time I even dressed more professionally. So I hope all this information was helpful for you guys. Just kind of gave you a deep dive into a little bit about my stats, the things that I put on my application to Clemson, and just additional activities that I did on the side that I think all maybe played some type of factor into my overall acceptance into the College of Business at Clemson. If you're interested in applying to Clemson University or have any additional questions, make sure to leave them down below in the comments. And I will leave down below the link to the video I did last year, kind of breaking down the universities that I applied to and more further about the application process. And so before we go, I wanna go ahead and invite you, if you did enjoy this video and you found it super beneficial and helpful, give it a big thumbs up so people like you will find this video and use it to help them apply to college or even apply to Clemson University also make sure to go ahead and follow me over on Instagram and Twitter. I'll be sharing more information about Back to College, which is my college advice series that I'm starting today, Wednesday, August 5th. So make sure that you are subscribed. Hit the bell down below so you don't miss any of those videos. I'll be posting next week, starting on Sunday, a video every single day related to Back to College content. And until next time, I will catch you guys on the flip side. Bye, guys.